So hello, my name is Amanda O'Shea, the Love and Life Coach from the Serendipity Experience, and I have with me the lovely Becca Marino. And we just were having this really lovely chat, and I thought, oh, let's capture this on video, because Becky, Becca and I were just speaking about separate realities. And um, Becca, I love what you shared about the children that you work with. You know, that, that was really, really cool. We tell us, especially, you know, what you were just sort of talking about how like a two-year-old and a four-year-old kind of blow your mind. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so it began probably three years ago with my bosses. So that I, there was only one at that time, one child. So he was probably about two and he put a backpack on upside down. And I said, oh, he's got it on wrong. And his dad said, no, just, just differently. And that just blew my mind. This is like, we're talking three years ago. So probably before I even stumbled upon this understanding i was like oh okay it's not wrong it's just different now fast forward to yesterday <laughs> i'm talking to a two-year-old and she's saying i want my lip thingy and i'm like what's your lip thing i don't know what you're talking about and then eventually i figure it out and i'm like oh your lip seal and i give it to her and she goes you call it lip seal i call it lip thingy <laughs> i'm just like mind blown completely the two-year-old tells me that we see things differently it was it was incredible it was so so incredible like rather than having this battle of wheels what no it's it's a lip seal that's what it is full stop and no it's this is how i see it and that's how you see it yeah. isn't that incredible <laughs> totally totally and i and i love that when uh, when the children are you know, point us back to something. I think at the moment, because you've just read Somebody Should Have Told Us, and because you're reading um, Parenting from the Heart, I think- Frozen a little bit. Oh, have I? Uh, oh, I, I, you're okay. Yeah. I, I can see yeah. it. I can but I, I wonder if it's because, what happens for me when I, I remember when I was reading lots of books, like when I got introduced to the, to the Inside Out Understanding, I was reading so many books and then, the world felt like a stage to me. Like I breathe, <laughs> and then it would actually kind of play out, you know. And watching children was often where I had the most insights, because they really are in the moment, and then it, and then they've forgotten about it, and they're on to the next subject. Yeah. Do, do you find that with your? I mean, you. you spend yeah, yeah, no, no, totally. It's just like you know all these books these parenting books that give you techniques and strategies and how to lovingly kindly deal with situations without punishments without rewards without timeouts without all of that stuff but there's still strategies there's still techniques there's still something to remember and in the moment when a child is crying you don't have time to remember those things but if you're reading somebody should have told us and parenting from the heart wisdom just appears you know as jack pransky says over and over again when the mind appears wisdom appears <laughs> and it's so true and it is because i don't well i think oh this is what i hear nobody's saying don't use a technique or don't use a strategy you want to use one that seems appropriate in that moment yeah Not yeah like just work. Last, yes. last just because it worked yesterday or last week it's not necessarily going to work today it's the same with the whole if i'm not in my health um, and i'm not feeling great and i say what's wisdom telling you <laughs> and it comes out like that the child's not going to respond and then i hear it and i realize well okay i'm saying with I'm not feeling very wise right now, <laughs> you know, not feeling very okay. So obviously, and in the parenting um, from the heart, it says it, that the child's only feeling, the child feels the feeling. They don't hear the words as much. They kind of learn to tune those out and they, they, they feel the feeling. And, but I've always known that, that children are very intuitive and like, if you're sad, they will know it, they will feel it, they'll play up on it, they'll be sad then, or they'll cry more or, maybe sometimes just cuddle you it's like they know that's what you need and it's true it's true children are very much there in that in the moment that's a great point that's made actually Becca. that's a great it's a really really great point because it's like even something which sounds like it's very wise advice which is listen to your wisdom or your wisdom <laughs> you've turned that into if you like a technique or a strategy right where you see other people <laughs> haven't haven't you know aren't doing that it's become like this 
it's become like this kind of like really good advice. And, and what I see when, and I've done so many of those sort of things, I've read something, I've just seen something fresh myself and, you know, innocently want other people to see it. And what I found happened to me was I, I kind of got, got on people's nerves, you know, or, or every time I would mention that again, they just would zone out or cut, or cut out because it's like, oh, here she goes again with that wisdom. <laughs> it's just your thinking. It's just your thinking. So even when my children were younger and maybe I might say, oh, it's just your thinking. This is way back when I first got introduced. They would kind of go, it's just your thinking. <laughs> 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 so it, it was innocence kind of, I really I was starting to see yeah. just their thinking and that doesn't mean anything to them until they see it and when the, and when they see it themselves it's going to be like oh it's just my thinking or not even it's just my thinking amazing like what's my thinking yeah otherwise but like, also what I see is that children seem to get it a lot faster than grown-ups a lot like I don't even try with the grown-ups anymore <laughs> my experiment is with the children how much can I feel my own feelings catch my own thinkings uh, thinking whatever thoughts how, how much can I be in the moment and work around it rather than trying to stop them from crying or stop them from doing change rather than trying to change the situation what's coming up for me in that moment how am I feeling like am I okay because if I'm not okay, I'm not going to deal with it very well. So sometimes saying absolutely nothing is the best thing to do. Yeah. Because maybe not every time, but in that moment, it's, and I'm learning that, that it's not about doing the right thing constantly. It's about doing what feels right in that moment. Um, lost my train of thought. Oh, that's it. So the children, if I say to them, the four-year-old and the two-year-old, where is wisdom? They will point to parts of their body. The two-year-olds will say, in my tummy. <laughs> Mind you, I have read Jack Pransky, What is Wisdom and Where Do I Find It? <laughs> a few times to them. And what is a thought? A thought is a lot. And they really like the books. I mean, the two-year-old gets a bit bored after two pages because she's two. But the four-year-old is quite interested. Come on, come on, carry on, carry on. Um, but if I ask them, where's wisdom? The, the four-year-old will say, here, here, here. You've got wisdom too, Becca. I'm like, oh, thank you you so it's like whereas you try and say this not even deliberately you just accidentally bring up this conversation it just comes out by accident and you'd have grown-ups fully grown adults arguing against what you're saying but then you've got this four-year-old and two-year-old who just naturally accept it they're like yeah okay cool that makes sense yeah yeah isn't that, that is absolutely incredible i love what you pointed there to is what i would call deep listening to yourself so where I'm at, you know, if I can just check in where I'm at, am I in a good place? You know, but that, that, that's so helpful for me because if I know that I'm out of sorts, like you say, chances are there could be, you know, sort of nonsense coming out of my mouth or there could be something that's not so helpful. Mm -hmm. or, so, yeah, I love that touching on, so to, you know, deep listening and separate realities. And uh, thank you for sharing my lovely. Thank you. That's okay. Bye, Becca. Bye, darling.